Hello everybody, my name is Austin James Jackson and I am here today. I'm going to show you guys how to add some atmosphere to your guys' photos by adding some light into Photoshop. Um, and I'm also going to use one other software. I'm going to show you guys two really cool ways to do this, to add in some light and to really create some interest in your scene where there might not be as much interest because the light is just not quite as good as you wanted it to be. This works really great on almost any sunset or sunrise image. So I want to show you guys how to do it really easily, uh, really simply. So we're going to go ahead and jump right in there right into Photoshop and we're gonna go ahead and get started here we go guys okay so the first method that we have here uh, is going to be done in Photoshop we're just going to paint like we would as a normal dodge and burn this way doesn't work quite as well but it's a little bit easier if you don't want to purchase additional software that I like using which is going to be the second way so I'll go ahead and show you the first way first um, and basically all you're gonna do you've got your photo in Photoshop here just create a new blank layer doesn't have to be any kind of special layer we just want it to be a blank layer we're gonna change the blend mode off of normal and we're gonna go down and change that to soft light and then we're going to duplicate this layer because we need a couple copies of it you can just click and drag it down there to the bottom right so now we've got multiple soft light layers now what you want to do is grab your brush tool over here mine is in the toolbar if yours is not you can just push b on the keyboard and bring out your brush tool and then you can select your color so i like sampling a color from the image so i click i to get my eyedropper tool and the color that I'd like to sample is this one right here. So I'm just going to click that and now it will appear right here in my color options. I'm going to go back to my brush tool, going to select colors. Now this is way too saturated to paint. Usually I like to paint somewhere about 20% of the way along the top here in terms of saturation. And we can adjust this later so don't worry too much about it. But I'm going to start with a color right about there. I'm going to hit OK. And now I can go ahead and paint in. I'm actually going to hit Command minus to zoom out once. And I'm going to adjust my opacity to about 15%. And I'm going to increase the size of my brush, actually. Make it a little bit larger. And now I'm just going to work this in. So basically, the first thing that you want to do is think about where you're going to paint in light. So the whole purpose of this is to paint in light to add some depth and atmosphere to our scene. You can see we've got this really nice sunrise, but we've kind of got boring light over here on the left side. So I'm going to paint in some light. So I want to paint in a little bit of sunlight around this area in here just to kind of enhance the image a little bit. Um, so I like using a really big brush. Make sure you are at 0% hardness. Again, make sure you're on soft light blend mode. And then you can just start clicking in here. And we're just going to slowly bleed in a little bit of color. And I'm totally fine that it's hitting the sky as well. It's totally fine with me. And we want it to be a little bit brighter over here on the left side where the sun would be originating from than we would say further away from the sun. And I'm just clicking and clicking and clicking and eventually you'll get to a point where you can't put any more paint down. Um, which I'm kind of at right now. So now I can go to the next layer here. And if you want to add a little bit of saturation at this point, you can. The reason why we create more layers is because you can only put so much paint on one layer um, until you need to create a new layer so you can continue to add more paint and continue to add color in there. And that's starting to look pretty good. I can add a little bit over here maybe. And let's create one in overlay blend mode actually. And we're going to come in here and this is just gonna add a little bit of contrast, which I like using overlay for kind of the center of this because it adds a little bit more contrast than soft light. Soft light is great for glow, whereas overlay is great for contrast. And now you can see this is looking pretty good. So what I like to do here, uh, of course, I would go ahead and refine this and spend a lot of time doing that if I was actually editing this photo right now and not making this for a tutorial video. But what I want to do to make this look a little bit more realistic is combine these three into a folder. So I'm going to shift click, put them in a folder, and then I'm going to put a layer mask on there. Now I'm going to switch to black and I can start to paint this out in a few spots where it got a little bit too bright. And that is really going to help me to make this look more realistic. I want to increase my opacity to about 40% on the brush. And you can just come in here and hit spots like this where it's like on the back side, like a shadow. 
where it likely wouldn't be hitting and 40% is going to be a little bit too bright. Let's go down to like 20%. You can also harden your brush if you want. Just going to come in here and hit this a little bit. And we're going to paint it out of the sky just a little bit, just to keep the detail of those clouds. Maybe we'll hit, uh, I'm going to leave that. Okay, so that is how I would go about doing it if I was going to do it this way. However, the better way to do it, which I'm going to show you guys, is actually using Luminar 4. I'm going to show you guys exactly how I do that. So basically what you're going to do, I'm going to delete this whole group here, and I'm going to make a copy of everything visible. So I'm going to go Command, Alt, Option, Shift, and E is going to create a new layer up top here. And what we're going to do is just load this right into Luminar 4. So we're going to go up to Filter. We're going to go down to Skyloom Software. We're going to go to Luminar 4. Now that's going to load up in Luminar 4, and we are going to be able to make our adjustment there. Okay, so now that we're loaded into Luminar 4, we're going to go over to this little tab here, the Creative tab. And then we're going to go to Sunrays. So essentially what we want to do is place sun rays. I really like the effect that this creates. Um, when we go ahead and click place sun center, you can see that this dot is going to appear up here. Now, oh, and of course increase the amount so you can actually see the effect. Now you guys may or may not have seen my video where I covered the sun rays. I was using it in a little bit different way. So this is another video uh, where I think it's really, really helpful. And basically what you want to do is just put the sun exactly where you would expect the sun to be in your photo. And it would probably be somewhere about over here. And I like to increase the amount a little bit more. Maybe adjust the overall look. And I like to increase the penetration because I do want the penetration to be going through the foreground here. Um, if it's low, it will just go into the sky, but I do want it in the foreground. Now I'm going to adjust the a few of these things later. We'll adjust the sun rays length right now to about right there, but we're gonna go to the advanced settings. Now what I like to do in the advanced settings, first of all, is increase the sun radius, uh, increase the sun glow amount, um, and the sun glow radius. Increase all three of these to 100. And then you can adjust the warmth to match uh, your image. I probably want mine about right there. And the sun rays warmth, not quite that warm. Let's cool it down just a little bit, probably about right there. Okay, and now we're looking really good. So at this point, you could adjust the sun if you wanted to like move it back, which I think I will. That's looking really good. And you can randomize. So randomize is really nice because it just randomizes the effect exactly what you would expect it to do. And move this down a touch. Maybe let's randomize it a little bit more and try and find one that's working out a little bit better for us. Maybe something in here. And then remember, you can always go back up and adjust some of the other settings as well. And randomize, there isn't necessarily a number that I always go for. I just kind of, I keep adjusting around until I find something I like. This one I really like because it's got a lot of nice rays coming through here. Um, so I'm going to stick with that. And now I can go back up and make some adjustments. I'm going to reduce the amount. Uh, and I'm going to reduce the overall look, or I'm sorry, increase the overall look. Let's reduce the sun rays length. And leave that as is. So that's looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with where that's at. Now we can load this back into Photoshop and make some adjustments there. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit done. Okay, and then we can go ahead and hit apply and it will send it right back over into Photoshop where we can make some additional adjustments. Okay, and now it's loaded right back over into Photoshop here. And again, we can toggle before and after. I really like this effect because you can see it kind of adds a little darkness to everything else. And it really just looks nice uh, with uh, these light rays coming through. So we can go in and adjust this now. If there were certain spots we didn't like, we could put a layer mask on and then you can go ahead and paint. Like for example, I don't want this much brightness going on in the sky. So I'm just going to paint about 20% opacity right onto my layer mask here. 
and it's taking just a second to load here, but you will see when I toggle this that we have painted out a little bit of the sky. So we just have a little bit more light rays on the foreground now. It's starting to look really good. Now you can combine this. You could also add another layer here. You could grab your soft light layer and you could sample this color right here. And you could just go in and paint some more light if you wanted a little bit more. Um, so it's really nice to have the option to add to it um, if you didn't quite get exactly what you want right in Luminar. Um, but that is basically how I go about using this tool. Uh, I think it looks really, really nice. You add this nice light. It adds a lot of dimension and depth to your scene and atmosphere uh, because now you've got a little bit of light coming through as opposed to before we had this kind of flat photo that was a little bit boring uh, because there's kind of a lack of light. But on sunrise and sunset photos, you can almost always add an effect like this to add that light coming in from the side. Alrighty guys, well I will include a link down below where you can go ahead and pick up this software. I really think that it's nice. Um, in the future, if the software does change, this link should lead you to the updated software. So go ahead and pick it up. You guys will really, really like it if you want to do it the easy way that I think looks a little bit better. However, if you don't want to pick up the software, you can definitely just go ahead and dodge those colors in there yourself um, with the first method that I showed you. really hope this video was helpful for you guys and it'll help you guys create some really, really awesome some images. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.